Molly Pecan was one of the greatest and most beloved stars of the Yiddish stage. But her career actually begins in America on the English language vaudeville stage. Born in 1898 in New York, Molly spent much of her childhood in Philadelphia, where her mother worked as a seamstress sewing costumes for the Yiddish theaters there. Molly made her first professional appearance in 1904 at the age of five, when she won first place in an amateur competition. She later played the role of Topsy in Uncle Tom's Cabin with a traveling vaudeville troupe, and for much of her early career, tried to make a name for herself on the American vaudeville stage. She was in Boston in 1919, out of work because the theaters were shut down due to the influenza epidemic. Molly, needing train money to get home, met Jacob Kalish, the Yiddish playwright, manager, and director, when she popped into the Grand Opera House, where Kalish was the manager. The two were married that same year, and Kalish took control of Molly's career, which he would manage until his death in 1975. Kalish prompted Molly to forgo the English stage and to make a career on the Yiddish one instead. Though Molly knew a smattering of Yiddish, her language skills were lacking. She memorized her lines and often only knew what she was saying when she was offered an English translation. In order to correct this, Jacob Kalish took Molly on a European tour from 1920 to 1923. Kalish, knowing that Molly lacked the same authenticity of Yiddish stars who had come directly from Europe, hoped that her European tour would connect her with the old world and imbue her with acting clout. Reviews of Molly before 1923 are conspicuously absent from the American English language press, after which time they appear with almost daily frequency. Molly's tour, highly managed and publicized by Kalish, generated much interest in her upon her return to the United States. She now bore the mark of authenticity because she, like many other great Yiddish actors, had honed her skills on the European stages, had seen the shtetls, and had performed for the old world audience. It was during this tour that Kalish wrote Yankala for Molly, in which she played a young yeshiva bucher, and this became the musical play for which she is most well known. Its success in Europe preceded her upon her return to America and catapulted her to almost immediate star status. Molly's success in Yankala cemented the types of plays she would perform in. Her Yiddish stage persona was always some variation of the impish urchin or the innocent ingenue, the childlike waif or the roguish ragamuffin, and Molly would play these roles well into middle age. On the Yiddish stage, Molly Pecan performed mainly in musical comedies, often a combination of symbolic play, vaudeville, melodrama, and burlesque. Most of Molly's shows, and there were over a hundred of them, follow the same pattern and center around her character being saved by or joining with her love interests at the last moment after a series of unfortunate but hilarious events. But all of them, as predictable as they might have been, never fail to attract a crowd because they ended with the writing of the social and moral order, the unity of the family, and the preservation and continuity of Jewish life. Time and again, reviewers make note of the banality of the plot and the ridiculousness of the book. However, they all acknowledge the enjoyability of the shows, each of which seem to ride entirely on Molly's tiny but capable shoulders. When starring Molly Pecan, one reviewer wrote, the play need never be the thing. In most every case, it is merely a vehicle constructed around the dazzling yet tender, the daring yet essentially humble character she loves to portray.